now we come to what is, without any doubt, the cheapest cut of lamb, and this is the breast of lamb. Um, personally, it is a great cut of meat. Most of the time, most butchers don't even buy it because they don't buy whole carcasses. Huge amount of butchers literally bone it out, throw it in the mince, or throw it into the kebab shops. This is too good for that. So what we're going to do with it, we're going to bone it out and we're going to roll it. And it'll give you an opportunity to make a very good slow roasting joint which has phenomenal flavour. Right, so first of all I'm going to bone them out. So, you've got what we call the skirt there. I'm going to come in from that skirt side and literally run my knife along the back end of the ribs there, releasing the ribs. I turn him over. And I come in from the point end of the breast and I just lift that off the ribs and remove the flesh. And all I'm doing is running down the back of the ribs, pulling the meat away as I go, like so. And you've got the cartilage ribs there at the end, which you just make sure they come off. Once you've boned that one like that, it's important that's where the animal was opened up to remove the stomach contents and everything. That's very dry and very tough. So all you do is run your knife along the edge of the breast there to ensure that's removed. Also, because we're going to roll and stuff this, you just lift that excess bit of fat, fat out the point part of it. So that's removed, that's removed. On the, on the breastbone here, there is a little bit of meat on it. So all I do with that is trim the meat out like so, and the rest of that will go for the stock pot. Place that there. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. Lift the skirt muscle. Come down the edge of the rib bones like so. Turn him over. Come from the point end, lifting the point end of the breast up. Like so. Moving the breastbone. Checking if there's any of the cartilage ribs left in there, making sure we remove it. Once again, that will cause a problem because a knife will carve through it, but someone eating it will not be able to chew it. And the last thing you want to do is upset your clients by making them chew something that's inedible. And once again, remove the outside of where the animal was opened up to be cleaned out. That leaves me two breasts. Excess fat removed. So these breasts, I chop and tail them. So I put them the opposite way round and put them next to each other like so. Now, to roll these, you can roll them as they are, you can slow roast them, give you a great flavour. What they work really well is if they're stuffed. So you could just do like you would do with a pork pochetta, so where you've got the belly of pork, you put pine nuts, Italian herbs and spices, basically anything left in your fridge goes in it, and you roll the pochetta up. That's what it'd be called if it was from the, from the uh, pig. Because we're going to do it from a breast of lamb, I would normally do a stuffing fast with some meat in there, with some herbs in there. And I quite often use four or five of these breasts that way and then roll it lengthways. Because we've only got two, what we're going to do is cut them in half. So one, two, cut them in half. So I've now got four pieces that I can top and tail, like so. Now that allows me now to put a fast in there and roll. And I'll roll it into itself, I'll roll it into itself. So I end up with a breast of lamb, and all you do on the end there, you tuck them in, and you tuck them in to leave one piece on the edge there like that, and that side like that. Now we're gonna roll that up. Now, a little bit trickier to roll, because you've got four pieces of meat there, plus you'd have a stuffing fast in. So what you do is, you put a guide rope lengthways over the top, round the back, over the top, through the hole. 
tie a knot and you just put it loosely. Notice how I put my hand underneath, so I pull the rope tight, hold, string tight holding it, and then I pull my fingers out and I tie them off. And then what I do is I turn it slightly and I'll do the same that way. So once again, I'm round the back, over the top, through the hole, tie a knot, and once again, I'm pulling it down, but once again, just keep my fingers in so I don't tie it too tightly. There. Now once I've got that, I can now start to tie as I normally would a piece of meat. And the art of tying, you're always looking to get an even joint. It doesn't matter if you're tying up a leg of pork, a joint of top side of beef, a rolled sirloin, it makes no difference. You're always trying to achieve this even shape because the more even this shape is, the more even it will cook when it's in the oven. The more even it cooks, the more likely you are to cook it to the right texture and the less chance there is of wastage because you've overcooked part of it or undercooked part of it. So I'm just tying off the ends there like so. I then, from there, put a string in between every string. And again, you can see how this is becoming a very nice, even shape. Now, because it's breast of lamb, it is a very slow cook. I, I regular with my breast of lamb, I'll get up in the morning, pop it in the oven before I go to work, come home, nine hours later, butchers work for a long day, they don't get short daylight chefs, I didn't say that. Um, and when it come home in the evening, finish off whatever you're going to have with it, and it will just shred and be a beautiful cut of meat. So we've got a nice round breast of lamb there. I'm going to cut that in half just to give you an idea of how good that looks. <laughs> 